All right, uh, let's look at this, uh, another good example of proof by contradiction, all right? So we're trying to prove that the square root of two is irrational, all right? So let's do that. So as usual, uh, for contradiction, we're gonna assume the opposite. So we're gonna assume that the square root of two is rational, all right? By the definition of rational number or a positive rational number, we know that, that there exists uh, natural numbers, uh, m and n, so that the square root of 2 can be written as m over n, right? Then we're going to add a little bit more uh, extra condition so that the greatest common divisor between the numerator and denominator is equal to 1, right? So this can be achieved because uh, if our greatest common divisor is not 1, then we can simply uh, divide the top and bottom by the by that number to make sure that the greatest common divisor is one all right so this can be done all right then once you've done that we just have to manipulate the equation a little bit all right so we're gonna maybe first uh, square both sides so that we don't have to deal with the uh, square root so you have a 2 is equal to m squared over n squared and then we can just multiply both sides because I don't like a fraction here. So you have a 2n squared is equal to m squared. So this indicates that the m squared has a 2 as a factor. So it's divisible by 2. So 2 divides m, m squared. Then we can use the lemma, which was uh, already proved uh, in another video. So if 2 divides n squared, we already know that the 2 divides n. So we know that the 2 divides m squared, then we know that the 2 divides m, right? Once you know that the m is an even number, then we can write the m as, so uh, be a little bit formal, there exists some integer k, uh, or a natural number k, such that m can be written as 2k, right? Then what we're going to do is plug this 2k back into this top equation here so that uh, we have uh, this equation, right? So we have n, 2n squared is equal to, so 2k squared would be 4k squared. And then divide both sides by 2, so you have n squared is equal to 2k squared, right? This equation tells you that the n squared has a factor 2. So 2 divides n squared. Then you can apply the lemma again to conclude that the 2 divides n. All right, then look at this fact here. You have a 2 divides m and 2 divides n, which means that the common, uh, greatest common divisor is at least 2, because 2 is a common divisor. So we have this uh, a result here, a greatest common divisor of m and n is actually at least 2, which is a contradiction, but because we made sure that the greatest common divisor between m and n is equal to 1 up here, right? Therefore, by um, proof by contradiction, we know that the square root of 2 is an irrational number, All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.